So following along in Bruce, I'm gonna jump all the way to 18.11 where they start to talk about uh, dye and poly substituted benzenes and in here I'm gonna focus on the dye. So if I have two things that are attached on this benzene here, zoom in just a touch. There we go. So if I have uh, two things that are on here and they're identical, uh, this is gonna be one special kind of naming that we're actually gonna be able to use for other kinds of naming as well. So um, here I've got a benzene group and I've got a bromine attached to it. And the IUPAC name for this compound here would be 1,2-dibromobenzene. I've got a bromine at the one position, the two position, so, and they're both bromines, so 1,2-dibromobenzene. Well, I can actually, in a common nomenclature, um, I can identify these other positions, not necessarily with numbers, but with um, you know, symbols. And so this is the ortho position, symbolized with an O. This is the meta position, symbolized with an M. And this is the para position, symbolized with the P. So I can say that something is ortho to this bromobenzene, or meta to this bromobenzene, which is the same as saying three. And this is something is para to this bromo on the benzene, which is the same as saying four. So instead of saying one, two, dibromobenzene, I can say ortho, sort of just an O uh, like this, dibromobenzene. What that does is that says that I've got a benzene that's got two bromines on it, and um, one is gonna be in the one position, obviously, and the other one is going to be in the ortho position. So this gives a lot of information in just a simple name. So this would be meta, dibromobenzene and then this would be para dibromobenzene the dye is important because if we just say para bromobenzene we're saying okay there's a bromine on there but there's something else that is para to it what is that so the dye still needs to be there Okay, so it's an important portion of this. Now, here these are non-identical, and we can see that one thing is in a four position, one thing's in a one position, and they are para to each other. So that's how that one sort of ends up working. We name them alphabetically. Uh, so um, this would be, a, you know, this, this chloro would be one, and then this para, this iota would be fourth. And so the IUPAC name for this would be one chloro. I'm trying to hear dad. Okay. My daughter's trying to hear. Four iodo benzene. Okay. And so the way that we end up, we would end up naming this would be what? Parachloro. Iodo benzene. Please forgive the capitalization of i in the middle of the word here. Okay, so these are in, um, these are para to one another. All right, it's, it's, a, it's a very common way, but you're going to see it a lot both in the professional community and in this book. So you're going to want to spend some time with it. If it's a named benzene, it kind of works in the same way. So here I've got an ethyl position um, that is right here. So it's 2-ethyl-phenol. Okay, and 2-ethylphenol, the other way that we can end up saying this, because this is the phenol group, so this is one of those groups that we sort of want to commit to memory. So instead of saying like 1-hydroxy, 2-ethyl, or yes, um, like that, we, we could say is this would be an ortho ethyl phenol. Okay, and um, this would be a um, one bromo for nitrobenzene, and so this would be a para, oops, para bromo nitrobenzene. 
Okay, so again, if it's a named benzene, something where the name is sort of already uh, built into it, then that is what has become the one position and then the other is the ortho, meta, or para. So how would we draw ortho, nitro, aniline? So aniline, we want to remember, is this. And ortho to it is a nitro group, and that is here. So that would be ortho, nitro, aniline. How would we draw meta chloro methylbenzene? Uh, methylbenzene you might recognize as toluene. However, um, it is in this sort of situation, it is not considered toluene, it's labeled as methylbenzene. So, methylbenzene is this. And then meta to that methyl, that's here, is a chloro. So that is meta chloro methylbenzene. And then here, para bromophenol. So here is this. It's a phenol. Phenol means it has the OH. And then para bromo, BR goes in the para position. If things are um, multi substituted, all right, we're not necessarily able to use ortho, meta, and para because we're, you don't necessarily know what those are there for. So we go with the way to number this so that everything gets the lowest possible number. So if we number this chlorine as one, this becomes three, this becomes four. So one, three, and four is the numbering. If we go with the nitro as one, then this becomes two, this becomes four. One, two, and four is better than one, three, and four. So one, two, and four, and then we list alphabetically with the numbers. The lowest number that we have here is two, um, the lowest alphabetically is two, so it's two bromo, four chloro, nitrobenzene. Forgive thee having to write over that, I didn't give myself enough space. Okay, so that's how it tends to work with multi-substituted benzenes. Again, if we can build something into the name, so for example, if we've got benzoic acid in this molecule, so right here, this is a molecule that contains benzoic acid, so this automatically gets the one position. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna number in this way. So this is our two, three, four, five. So this would become 5-bromo, 2-nitro, benzoic acid. That would be the name for that one. So, uh, given ourselves a challenge here, how would we draw 2-bromo, 4-iodophenol? So here is phenol, 2-bromo, 4-iodo. Is this a touchscreen? That one is a touchscreen, yes. Okay. So, 4-bromo-3-chloroaniline. Uh, Aniline is this. And 4-bromo would be here. 3-chloro would be here. All right, not so bad. And then if we have this one here, it is given to us as 6-ethyl-4-iodo-aniline. We want to correct this, so let's draw it the way it's written. Um, aniline is this. Uh, four iodo is this six ethyl would be this okay well um, I can come up with a lower set of numbers so this would actually end up being uh, two ethyl four iodo aniline so that is how we would correct this. So there are some problems in Bruce where they actually ask you to correct some of these things and that's the way you do it. You draw the way the name tells you and then you go back and you rewrite it. I hope that helps with the naming of dye and multi-substituted benzenes.